Okay, hi guys, it's me, it's the one, two, three, four, brother, Lizzie, Nikki, Lainey, and Annie. Annie J. My tripod just broke. Okay, I'll fix that later. Right, that explains that. So, hi guys, it's me. I have really, 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 really exciting news. Guess who came? <laughs> the doll came. I can't show because I need to put a post it note of my name and stuff. So, and um, while I do that, I'll explain to you why I have these specific dolls. Here, Lainey and Annie, believe it or not, were my first dolls, okay? So that's why they are um, here. And technically, Nikki and Lizzie are, because if you remember the opening video, I got Lizzie, I got, I got, I was planning on getting Nikki and not Lizzie, but I still um, thought I might as well bring both of them down to open them at the same time. Okay, so I'm going to show you now. Okay, guys, I'm getting really excited. Here she is. Okay, Rotio. I've covered up my name and address because it's under my. Ooh. This is what you get when tripod breaks. Okay, I'm going to open it. I've got the scissors. I'm really scared. I haven't opened a doll since Christmas. Oh my goodness. I'm scared, guys, I really am. Do you know what the worst thing is? My pet, my mum, she picked me up from school today, well, partly, and um, I said, has my doll arrived yet? And she said, no. And I was really upset because she was meant to come on Wednesday. And it's Thursday to this year, she was meant to come yesterday. And um, I was nearly in tears, and then she said, come upstairs. And I went upstairs, and the doll was there. And my dad just phoned up. And um, he was in on it as well, so I was just like, okay. Right. Oh, she's wrapped up in pink tissue paper. Okay, the eBay seller is so nice, really nice, because um, they, they um, sent some messages as well, saying I really hope you enjoyed stuff, and it was a really nice gesture. So let's take the rest of it off, off camera. Oh, it feels so good opening a new doll. Oh my goodness. Oh, it's just heavy. Oh my days. Oh. <laughs> this is actually my birth doll, 2003 to 2004. I don't want to rip the wrapping paper, but it's already ripped. Oh my gosh, she's here. Oh my days. Oh, she's gorgeous. You see what I mean by the hair people? I've got a brush, I think. I've had a brush. Oh, oh my goodness, people. Oh my days, let me just... Are her legs as wonky as, this, as that person said? Because first... No, not that bad, actually. Might need a really strong. Oh my days. She's beautiful. I'm just admiring her a minute. It's definitely Kaylee. Right. Okay, people. I sent a picture on Google Plus about what she looks like. She'll definitely need a restring, so I'm really sorry, people. I will not be able to um, stand her up like yeah. So this is Kaylee. I just remembered the stick is broken off. Look, guys, my stick broke off on the tripod. I'll fix that later. So I'm gonna have to move the camera. Oh, look at her. Oh my days. She's beautiful. Okay, I'm just going to try combing her hair. This is really weird to be opening a new doll. I have not opened a new doll since Christmas. And for me, by now, um, last year I would have had three, four dolls already. About four dolls, possibly. Oh my gosh, she has her ears pissed. Guys, she has her ears pissed. They're definitely not American girl. So they must have been hand pissed. Oh, she's absolutely beautiful. Her hair's real nutty. If you guys want to do a tutorial on fixing her hair, uh, comment down below. She's really beautiful. Okay, so I every time I open a doll, I do something called a body check, where I check her body to make sure she has no marks. So the first thing is this beautiful fur jacket. It's brown. It's from our generation. I already have a purple one like this. So I'm actually really excited to add another one. It's really cute. And it has a little guy there. It does say our generation on the tag, so that's really cute. The next thing is this skirt. Now, I do believe this skirt is handmade. 
Uh, the reason why I say this is because it looks like a sock material. So I'm guessing this is handmade. It's actually really cute. But I don't know if my doll is actually going to flare up. And the next is a top from our generation. Oh, it's a cute top. It's like a stripy top kind of thing. It's cute. So the doll itself. Okay, what some people have been really confused about oh, the next really loose I'll have to talk about. Um, it says pleasant company on the back, but it's definitely Kaylee. I'm 100 percent sure. I'm gonna look if she actually is a pleasant company. I, mean, I don't think she is, so it might be that she had to have a new head or something. So let's have a look at her. So uh, like I said, her limbs are loose. Is she got any nail polish on? No, that's good. No marks on the feet. Alright, she has a few scratches, but they'll be easy to get off. I don't know if you can see on the bottom of her foot, you probably can't because this is a rubbish camera. But um, she has a few marks on the bottom of her feet. She has a bit some shine marks, but I can get rid of those. She doesn't have an X, which is good. It's just some elastic in her somewhere. Like I said, her head's really loose. I'm gonna have to tighten that up after the year. Something tells me they tried to restring her or something. Because the way the person was going on with the thing is that um, it was really loose. But right now, not. As strings cut. I think the strings are cut because they're not as long as they should be. Hang on, I'll show you in two seconds. Is that cut? Hang on, let's just knock her hair out of the way. Are those strings cut? I think they are. Doesn't matter though, half my dolls have good strings. And her hair is beautiful. Okay, so welcome Kaylee to the family. I'm definitely keeping the name because I actually like that name. And welcome her to the family, to the Ujella. I'm so excited to have a new doll. I mean, to get a doll for me is amazing, the fact that I live in England. So, um, please no hate. I am thankful for every single doll that I get. And to be fair, I have actually paid nearly all the money for this doll. She cost 50 and I'm paying about 45 So to be fair, I'm actually paying most of it. So please don't put in the comments, oh, you spoil all oh, this thing. Please don't put any of that. Um, I am thankful. I mean, I have 13, well now 13, fantastic dolls. And I am, I'm really happy, okay? So don't ruin my day, people. So, um, upcoming videos for Kaylee. I'll be doing a, um, maybe Kaylee meets the family. I'll be doing making Kaylee's room. I'm doing a restring and a hair tutorial. So there'll be a few Kaylee videos coming up soon. Um, it should be perfect for um, it's 50 thing as well. I need to think about what character I can make her. But um, yeah. So I can't believe it that I'm getting another doll. She didn't come with any shoes, but um, some some of the dolls don't. I don't. I do have, I have tons of doll shoes, so it won't be a problem. And pretty much, she is so pretty, guys. This is Kaylee Girl of the Year 2003 to 2004. Lizzie, historical, Nikki Girl of the Year 2007, Lainey Girl of the Year 2010, and Annie, a custom doll. And me, AG Lover, 1234 Forever, also known as Red. So, thank you all so much for watching this opening video of Kaylee Hopkins Girl of the Year 2003 to 4. Bye for now, guys. Bye.